channel as you guys can see it's just the upgraded and I'm using my camera today um so the quality will be a lot better you guys so today we'll be working with the iPhone 7 8 plus and as you can see my pieces are already glued to my cell phone case so I don't have to worry about them shifting when I'm placing my rhinestones on so you'll need the same items that we needed in my previous video but I'll briefly go over them with you guys again so you'll need your face mask very important you guys a face mask very important e6000 glue or any glue of your choice that has a firm hold tweezers a picking tool or a wax pencil and you guys this was the initial wax pencil that I was using when I first started blinging and it worked well uh, all I did was add the e6000 glue at the other end and I was able to use both sides. And last but not least, your rhinestones and pearls. So today, as you can see, I'm working with three different mixtures, you guys. Um, I didn't feel like making up a mixture, but this will work. All I'm going to do is just um, pour my rhinestones on the side of my cell phone case and I'll mix it all together as I go. Hopefully everyone is having an amazing day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, you guys. Um, if you have any ideas, um, feel free to let me know in the comment box below. I'm open to any ideas. So, without further ado, let's put that face mask on, you guys, and let's get the blinging. <laughs>
is you guys the finishing look it looks amazing so I'm just gonna rip off the paper oh yeah don't forget to take the film off your pieces um, before you place them on your phone clip sometimes the film are on both sides so you want to make sure that you scratch at it a little bit to make sure that there's no film on the bottom before you glue it because it won't stick so yeah this is just something I like to do I like to wait until after I'm done making the phone case to peel the film off so yep here it is the finishing look mm -hmm.